What's up, everybody? Welcome to the K-Pop Kimchi Podcast, your number one podcast for girl groups with the number one fanboys. I'm your host, Justin Turnell, with my co-host, Brian Limper. We just got done watching episode four of Queendom Puzzle. We did. It was a very confusing episode. It was a, um, a doozy, is what I'd call it. There was it. a lot of stuff going on. I don't really know a what. lot, A lot of information being thrown at us. I feel like at this point, they're just making it overly complicated just because they can, because... Yeah, like, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I feel like they don't need to be doing, and they just, like, make teams. Yeah, there's just, like, so many different things going on, and then little things added on to that. It's like plot twist. We're doing it this way now. It's like, why? And then there's this little implication that can change or not change, or someone can move or not move, or blah, 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 and all this other stuff. There was just a lot. It was, like, a good episode overall, but then just, I guess, the second half of it, I was like... My brain hurts now from all this different stuff going on. Yeah, I know. And they still have all these points to give it out. I don't know how much the points are. Yeah, we don't know what... I mean, they never showed in the show, like, a leaderboard or anything of, like, such and such as this many benefit points. Or, like, oh, if you get this many... Like, even if you have the most benefit points, does that matter when it comes to voting? Like, if you're not top voted people, does it matter? I don't know, because I think most of the people would still have technically zero points. Because they don't really ever show us a weekly update on what votes people have gotten. Is it, like, a weekly thing or, like, an accumulated thing? Like, I I don't know. I don't know. They never showed us, so... So if I vote, like, every week for, like, Miru, does that just mean I got, like... Say there's 10 episodes, I get like 10 votes, and that's just 10 votes. Uh, yeah, is it one? Like, Cause, I mean, if that's the case, my 10 votes is not going to compete with 20,000 points. I was like, yeah, is that 20,000 bene- benefit point, votes? Like, how many points does it take to make one vote? Because, like, in my LGS, if I get 1,000 points, that's $1. Yeah. But every point is $1 that I spent, so I've just spent $1,000 to get $1. What back. is the reward system? So, like, what's what's the difference? Is like, 1,000 points, or 1,000... Earned points like one vote, so really they're getting like twenty votes. Yeah, like when they're like, "You just got twenty thousand benefit points." What does that mean? Where I don't does know if I go? just we aren't paying attention or what, but I feel like they haven't done a great job of breaking down what is going on with who's making it and what these points mean and where they're going and what. And like, really what do does anything, it mean honestly. in this final lineup of people? I don't know. The is girls it, are like super excited about it, though. Yeah, look, like, oh, the girls are great. And I'm just like, the girls are great. And they're just like, oh my gosh, this is happening? And I'm like, what's happening? Yeah, I don't know. Seems very... I don't know. Maybe just watch too many of these shows that's made me bitter and angry. (laughs) I know. I just will always criticize m and anything they do. I mean, sure, it's rigged anyway. It doesn't matter. But... Well, we obviously see all the main people get the main screen time. Like, there were some people today who were like, oh, we didn't even see that person at all. Through uh, the whole show so far, they've really loved... uh, Kwaso from uh, yeah. Haiki. She's just her, like shown more than anybody. She's been the the all star of like every of like all the people in the show like, love her. Every time she cries, she's on camera. Every time she's happy, she's on camera. Her and Rena both actually are on it. Quite I would say point. Rena's on the Haiki girls are on it a lot overall. Both of them are yes. Like compared to like that and Bora. And Bora's the rest on of Cherry Bullet. I'm starting <laughs> to think Bora might be a fraud. I don't know. Actually, man. Yanni's on there are quite Yanni's a bit. Yanni's a lot. But on that's just because she's on there and Bora's on there. Bora's on there all the time. Usually, when Yanni's on there, it's something sad. Because they're losing to. Because <laughs> she's, like, not winning. In this make believe matchup of. Groups <laughs> with Cherry Bullet. Cherry and, Bullet, Rocket Punch. I still just don't battle. understand. I got no. It kind of reminds me of, like, old school wrestling when there was, like, K Fab, when it was, like, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage hating yeah. each other. Or, like, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. But then, like, afterwards, just, like, best friends, you know? Yeah. It's just like, oh, okay. What's yeah. the point of that? It's just all, all part of the act. All part of the show. But, yeah, we got some performances today. Oh, also, we're going to do what we did, I guess. A reaction video to the new New Jeans song. Yeah, it's so go watch sick. those. We watched both songs. I'm pretty sure the reaction is actually to come out before this. So if you're listening to this after we put that out and you haven't watched it. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. We put up a lot of reaction videos lately because apparently everyone loves pre-releases. Everyone loves pre-releases uh, for sure, but uh, New Jeans was really sick. I'll say that much. That's my spoiler. It was really good. Pretty hard to see Malalapalooza. They are very cool. Very my cool. pre-release into this show is these drinks that I bought here. We got something special. So these are Rise Fuel, which I know were like... I wouldn't say it's a pre-workout because I actually have some in my cabinet. and It's like a Pineapple Sunny D flavor. It's all right. But... 
It's got 200 milligrams of caffeine and other stuff in it, but it's not really strong enough, in my opinion, to actually be a pre-workout, which mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of drinks aren't anymore because um, Rain started out as a pre-workout. I don't know if you guys can hear the Carl going off. There's a Carl going off. What was the other ones that started off as pre-workouts? There's a couple of them that are out there, like you can buy, but they were all pre-workouts or quote-unquote pre-workouts. And that's what they're supposed to be used for, but... Nobody uses them for that. Just drink them as, like, energy drinks now, yeah. so. Um, the one that's, like, a Warhead flavor. What is that? It's, like, a... There's, like, Skittles, Warhead. C4. Yeah, the C4 perf- performance or C... Whatever. That was, like, a big workout for a long... Pre-workout for a long time. But right now we got this one called Rise Fuel. You have three flavors here. One is Sunny D, like, just straight-up Sunny D. Yeah. One is Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. Which, I'm, I mean, I don't know how you can really mess it up. Just make it taste like a sugary fruit punch. And the one I'm really interested in is this Baja Burst, which seems like a very heavy ripoff of Baja Blast. Yeah. The other ones are actually, like, official Sunny D and... Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Kool-Aid. Like, I'll be like honest. Official. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got, like, this... Oh, that's a cool color. The sniffles right now. My allergies are kicking in for recording, so I really can't smell anything. So, we'll... I think it smells... Well, it smells very much like fruit punch. Does it? Yeah. All right, let's see. You know, I'm not going to lie. My nose being stuffed is really affecting my ability to taste it. things, so... <laughs> it's super good, maybe. Um, it's I mean, it doesn't right. taste bad based off what i got going on right now, but I, I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, I literally can barely breathe through my nose right now. Like, I, It's okay. Does it taste like fruit punch? Yeah, kind of. Like right, so it's kind of hard to mess up tropical punch. It's not, punch. yeah... I mean, it's not, like, the best, but it's okay. All right, so, yeah, I can't really taste or anything, but... It's all right. We're going to have to rely on Justin for these uh, reviews right now. If you so, like we'll do the punch, other ones here. If you like Fruit Punch, you'd probably like it. We'll do the other ones here in between our other segment halves we got going on. Space out the show with the drinks. Got to. <laughs> That's the only reason people listen, so we got to make sure they can't get Yeah, I know, we can't it's do like it all It's like going to a concert. You can't play your best song until the beginning because everyone's going to leave. We're definitely saving this Baja Blast for last. Baja Burst. The, that font's pretty sick. The R I R Y S E. Also, for anyone who actually did watch our reaction video already, and we're coming back to this, uh, shout out to my new kitten I just got today, Lola. Lola's here. She's sleeping. sleeping, thank God, because she was riled up earlier. She's excited about uh, episode four, just like we were. Lola, named after uh, Lola of Pixie fame. After we saw her in St. Louis, I was like, that's the name of my cat. That's the name of my cat right there. With her, like, little cat beanie on. Yeah. So, she's chilling back there. She's literally eight weeks old. She's, like, the size of, like, a six-inch sub from Subway. That's a good way to put it. We got the rest of our performances. For anyone who doesn't remember from last week, they did, like, the little little remix stages for, like, songs that people already have made. Yeah. Last week, we got the nude stage, which was pretty cool. And that got 221 points. And we were very confused if that was good or not. We're we like, not know. I guess that's good. They were the leaders. And spoiler alert, apparently it was good because yeah. they won. Oh my gosh. But then we got the fighting stage, which is actually pretty sick. And that was 209 points, which I was like, you know what? That's pretty good. We're like, okay, that seems pretty close. Also, spoiler alert, that was the second highest one that we got We're in the first two episodes. Yeah, I or know. the first two performances of the first episode. No change there. So that was kind of dumb. Then after that, we got the one we were looking forward to. The most, which was the shutdown stage. Yeah. Which was like Faye, um, Rina, Rina, Sangha, and Huiso. From High Key, which was like, look sick on paper, you know? And they all, they like went all I mean, like, it, it was, was awesome. It was, was one of my favorite ones. It was really good. Um, I thought it was one of my favorite ones for sure. But. They even had fire. Like the whole stage was set on fire. And then, like. She killed a guy. Sangha, or not Sangha, Faye pushed that guy off the, like, the ledge thing. Like, that was, it was really good. They did a great job. But I don't know, I don't really know, because it was a crowd voting thing, and apparently the crowd did not feel the same way. Because they ended up getting 152 votes, which is, like, dead-ass the worst. It was, like, not good. Not even close. Because they, like, you know, they make it all dramatic, and then it was just not even close. So, that was a little surprising to me. I just wasn't really sure. I mean, I think up to the point, I thought that was, like, the best one. Same. I didn't think... I thought that was the best. They just did a really good job, and I feel like each person 
did well, like, and showed off what they can do, like, and then they all, like, were really good in that concept, too. I thought everyone fit the concept really well. Yeah, but if we still built that I, team, she did a great job. I really thought it was, like, a perfect performance. It was really fun to watch and really entertaining. Like, I would maybe go check that out on YouTube because it was just fun. And Sangha did really well. Everyone did really well. Faye did really well. This had a lot going on in a good way. I really just don't understand how the fan goes. But the crowd did not think that it was uh, better than the fighting stage or the nude stage at all. Oh, the fighting stage was pretty sick. I liked the fighting one a lot. That was also probably one of my... Those might have been my two top favorite ones, honestly. The fighting one was just super fun. Then after that, we had the only one stage, which was like the one everyone was looking forward to. Like, they wanted that number one. Mm -hmm. And that was just Soen and Kay... Um, I'm pretty sure all they did uh, to practice was just eat. And everyone was just like, this is like a layup. Like, they're going to get number one easy. Like, the fans are going to love it. It's like kind of like an OST. And they got a 184, which was second to last. Oh, yeah. sorry. Third from last, because I forgot the other one got fifth. It was a good Still per- not great. Not in the top half. It was <laughs> a good performance. Um, it is what we thought it was going to be. The end was really cool. It was like snowing, and they're like making formations with their arms. And the I, thought, I thought just because of the nature of the song... That yeah. it was, like, easily going to be number one. I thought it was, too. And they did a good job, so I was like, okay, they didn't have any clear mess-ups, so they're going to be number one. But, again, it wasn't. And everybody, like, hyped it was up. a cool performance, though. They did, not, they did a really nice job. Then we had the Don't Call Me stage, which I was looking forward to because it had, like, all my favorite people. Yeah. Uh, Miru, of course. Yoram. Yin. Zoa. And Wu Yan was there. And I thought they did really good. I was like, dang, that was a really cool stage. Like, yeah, was really I thought good. it was one, uh, again, really awesome. And this, it's it. funny because at this point, the last two performances, everyone was pretty much just like, I don't care who wins. It's like, is someone going to be the nude stage? Yeah. Like, that's all they're, that's, they're really hoping for the nude stage to lose. More they just than made it like so dramatic. Um, but it just like didn't happen. But I thought Don't Call Me was really good. I did too. And... He got 201, which, I mean, wasn't terrible, but not good enough to win, so it doesn't it was like matter. a solid third. <laughs> yeah, it was. It barely lost to the fighting stage. Yeah. Then, last but not least, we had the Dance the Night Away stage, which is basically just Cherry Bullet. And, of course, the only thing this showed was, like, drama between... Um, Bora and Yun-Hee. Cause because of of, they wanted the same part, naturally, and then they had to figure that out. This one actually seemed like it was pretty real drama because it seemed really awkward for the other people in the group because they kind of just, like, sat there while they're, like, literally dancing in front of each other. Yeah, I don't know. I was it's like, weird. what is going on? But the all-star of this group was, uh... Soyeon, the little girl from Triple, Triple S, who, S who, like, did dreadful, <laughs> dreadful in her first thing. And then she, like, did absolutely nothing in there. She was, like, stood there. She's like, everyone's arguing. And I was just like, yeah, because so. Because Bora and Yanhi were such butting heads and I don't even know if anyone else even talked but you definitely forgot she was was there and she liked it great she did a great job she and had so many whatever, parts compared to everybody else whatever part she had sub vocal six like, it was the perfect did, thing why she, did nobody else take that she had so much center time and she like ended the whole song she was the MVP of that she did it really I always thought it was crazy because they're like oh vocal ones got like the lead or blah 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 the ad libs and all this stuff I swear so had more parts than the vocal one I, person. I swear did. she had the most, too. And she was definitely, like, the most memorable. So shout out to her. I swear she definitely had more than, like, Charon and Jiwon. Yeah, Charon and, was there. Jiwon was also and, there somewhere. And, like, I, I swear I remember her more than them. And probably more than the other two. She did a really good job for not being super great before. Uh, that was really my MVP of, of that team. But they didn't win either. Yeah, so. and they all lost the nude stage. The nude stage, which was the first stage we saw. And in my opinion, not the best stage. No, I don't think... I thought it was really good, but I did not think it was my my favorite one. Also, the Dance and the stage was sick because the end of it was just kind of wild. It just reminded me of I that, just, like, love that. The WJSN, everything just going batshit crazy. You know, fireworks, people spinning, acrobats. That's kind of how, like, the end of the fighting stage was, too. Yeah, like, was. I always love when it's just, like... Super just like madness, crazy, yeah, craziness. Just Over the lots, top. lots of stuff going on at the end. I don't know, but it was, uh, yeah, nude was probably not my favorite one. Clue to the fans just uh, we did not Dilla. agree with them. So yeah, I know, right? That's the real. She needed to win, I guess. I don't know. It's like maybe everyone just liked Gian and Nana. Maybe 
I mean, Nana did really good, but I don't. Nana's been doing a good job. I don't think that was. I don't think that was in the top half of my favorite. They probably the liked the 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 what's it called? Not ropes. What did they have? Like the. It's just like I mean, they it's used essentially all, it was. It was like they used all the like, weird like cloth things to dance. Maybe yeah. that's what the crowd thought that was like super crazy or something. If I had to pick my favorite ones, I'd say my favorite one overall was I like the shutdown one. That was pretty sick. I like the fighting one. Don't Call Me was pretty good. Honestly, I liked the Dance the Night Away stage. I thought that was pretty good. No, it cool. was really and good. The ending was wild. It was also like a remix. It wasn't like the exact Dance the Night Away. Yeah, was they were like all a weird, remixes, like, yeah. Slowed down hip-hop version of it. It was really cool. I thought... Um, Especially the ending. The ending was sick. They all like did the, really well. With, like the people like the conga line with like the drums and like the yeah. rattling conch shells came out. Like It was cool. Yeah, it was excellent. They did a really good job. Everyone did a good job. I thought all the stages were... We're good still. I just did not think. Also, I just did lie, not agree with the fans. I said this. I think last week maybe, without there being, or without there being any like real threat, of, like being eliminated or not being able to like do anything next week, it really just takes the excitement out of it for me. Yeah, it is. Uh, like, oh, you did the worst. Okay, who cares? Like, you just gonna do something next week. It's just kind of weird that there's only a benefit if you win, and then there's nothing. Like no repercussions. There's not really win. a consequence. So far, if you lose, because like in like, Girls Planet and Boys Planet, or even well anything, Idol School produce, if you like did bad, you're like done. <laughs> like we're not seeing you anymore. Yeah. Except for five years later, you debuted another group. Yeah. Natty. Well, that's the thing, too. We were saying is, with this, everyone you don't even have to wait because everyone's already doing something. Like there's besides literally... some of the people who are kind of like I don't know what. Chami's gonna go do I don't know but like those are groups posting stuff now during the show happening like, when they're with their the groups. weekly girls that do not win this it doesn't matter because they're just going back to weekly you know what I mean like, yeah the rocket punch girls the cherry bullet girls will just go back to their groups and you know exist in that there's now, not Ellie, I don't know that's a coin toss there's I don't not, know what she's doing yeah I don't know either but like it's it isn't like someone's random trainee who you really like from a certain elimination show and then they get eliminated and it's like well guess what they're going back to Japan and like gone forever like like yeah she does solo stuff but it's not the same hopefully you know? find like a, her Chinese solo work on YouTube like yeah so without the actual threat of anything bad happening it's kind of not as exciting for me but I guess it's just the the performance is still I great. guess it's just that and then I guess the payoff as <clears throat> in winning the thing isn't it's that cool. big either because it's not like an eyes one or a Kepler. Or it's like, like oh, we're doing like one project. It's just like a, a it's just songs. like a project group that's gonna make some songs and probably be really good. But it's just it's just not quite the same as those. Which I mean, I guess we shouldn't think that it is, um, because I don't know. Because Queendom was so different last time because it was the whole groups together. At least they got a trophy. Yeah, I think. I, I that was a long time ago. It was like a really cool trophy too, supposedly. I don't really know what the other benefit to them winning that was. I don't really. I was thinking about that I randomly really at work like some one day. Random like in that stage, but I'm like, is that every comeback I was like, they do? Because they said something like that, but then every group from that came back right after Queendom. Like everybody had a comeback. So I was like, did WJSN even like win anything? Like, can we at least say that they got like cash or something? Like, yeah, I don't know, cash considerations. Something. Um, Sorry for you diehard Queendom puzzle fans out there, but I don't know. We've seen a lot of these, and like I said, it's. I mean, it's fun watching it. The girls are good and everything. Yeah. But it loses a little bit of its luster. There's no real stakes on the line for winning or losing. I just like the interaction between the girls is my <clears> favorite <throat> thing. And then, like the stages are fun, and those stages were actually really great. Like, but it's just I feel like we're just having all these rules and different ways to get to certain things. It's like and plot like, twist. Thing. And it's like, whoa, it's like but it's like, like well, you know, again, you're not being eliminated forever to go back to never even being an idol. Like, Into the aether. We're just like pretty going. much. So I agree with you. It is the, the, the like kind of threat of it isn't quite what we remember for considering everyone is competing as an individual in this. So Yeah, I know. I thought that was going to make it like more exciting because like, oh, like, I actually got to prove I'm better than this Rocket Punch girl if I want to don't get eliminated. Unless, like... Not the case. Like, if they had eliminations, it would add a lot more drama. But, again, we haven't really even seen, like, rankings, which I... Th you can maybe go check the global rankings, but I don't know what the points mean. I know the last time I checked the last rankings, literally every 
member that was on there was like just a popular member from the group. I just feel like you could, I don't know, <clears throat> like like Nana will probably be in it. At this rate, Huiso probably will be. It's just like, are we so just like kind of... Like Yora, like Yid, Yoram? Probably Yoram, probably Yen. It's just like picking the people who get on the camera the most. Like, I just want to break down literally the screen time. Like, like I honestly thing. wouldn't even be shocked if like K made it just because she has so many fans. Yeah. Like during her performance, there was literally a dude crying. Oh my gosh. They're, yeah, they had people in tears. Like real tears. Like actually, like he was hiding his face, wiping his tears away while he was holding his side. Yeah. So, I mean, I know we got a lot of hate in the comment section about this, but it's like. We're not it's like a popularity hating. contest. Yeah. And like, I don't know, they'll probably be Like if your favorite member's Bora, you really think if she does one bad performance, you're gonna be like, I'm gonna vote for her. No. Yeah. And like the whole point of this is actually not to win. It's just to get noticed on the show. It's just to get these like groups that are in this like love this level playing field of like they're not the best groups out there. And they're still. Some of them are still trying to grow. Some of them have been around a few years and are like kind of in a limbo. It's just to like get some more eyes for those groups. Like I feel like I do care more about Haiki now because of this show. You know what I mean? I like, didn't know the members of Haiki were before this show. So, but like I'm just saying, it worked. The point of this is to just give shine a little more light on these types of groups that maybe need a little more light shown on them. You know what I mean? Here's what I want. Which right? I 100 percent believe that's working, and I like it because. That's the most fun part, is just seeing the people interact with each other. Like I want a queendom where it's literally mid-tier to new group groups, like eight or nine of them, right? And this basically like normal queendom, not like, sorry, this is completely different than what we're talking about. Like normal queendom, like last time WJSN won, yeah. and the winner just gets a full US tour by Leo Presents. That would be some awesome stakes. Because that would be like and legit awesome. That would be legi- That would be awesome because... Not only would that be super intense for the groups and girls, that would be very intense for the fans too. Like the voting, like, because you're like, I want to see this person. You like I, I mean? like if they win, we're gonna see them. Like that would that see like that is real winning right like, there. Like that would make me want to vote every week. So I'm like, yo, I need them to win. Like I need to see secret number. Yeah, like that would be really, really. That'd be legit. That's a that'd be a good idea. But this one, like. They and I, they just, I don't know. It's not like it's a permanent thing. So again, it's like, well, they're gonna just do some songs. I feel like maybe it was more permanent. Like, oh, you know, you have to, like, you can still work with your group, kind of like the old IOI one, where it's like your group for like six months. But if your other group's promoting, you go with your other. Yeah, group. if they're like this thing is gonna be a thing for a year, and they're actually gonna do stuff and have like comebacks, like multiple. Then maybe that's a. Little I'd be like, okay, okay, but I don't think it's that, right? No, they already yeah. said it's like a little project group, so that's gonna be like. Slam Dunk Unis were going to come do like one stage on M Countdown and be like, and it'll oh, probably yeah. be freaking awesome, but then they'll just go back their separate ways because the whole point of this show is to get the groups a little more recognition. If I've realized anything from this, it's just that everyone in these groups just needs friends, so they just want to be friends. That was a whole other. segment. I was going to say that was the whole, that was, that was a whole transitioning segment into the second half of the show was that no one had friends. Dude, literally, like, we don't have any friends. Or the high key people are like, we just hang out with each other on our off days. Which really isn't too surprising, because we do see that quite often, where it's like, they're just with each other all the time. Yeah, so like... And they're who, outside of their circle or their company. Who else are you going to hang out with, you know? Doesn't really exist. Because you always see, like, the weird interactions, where like, oh, I got their number, I've been wanting to be friends with them forever, I'm like, why don't you just ask them to be friends? Yeah, or just like... And it's like a big deal. You kind of have stuff in common. It's like... Or you're like, same age friends. Yeah. Speaking of second segments to this show time to try the sunny d one might as well i can kind of breathe a little better yeah time, maybe the time is right to hit this smells like a sunny d so i mean sunny d is and by sunny d I mean it just smells like an orange orange <laughs> but it's and clear it's clear that's kind of freaking me out that's weird because the other that's one was good. like i don't it smells like sunny d like actual sunny d you know honestly if you like poured that the thing from me and you told me it was like grapefruit flavored or grapefruit, I'd be like, yeah. Kind of what it smells like. It smells like Sunny D. I, I guess it tastes like it. I don't know. I guess if you're making a Sunny D energy drink, boom, that makes sense. Ugh. I wish I could taste stuff. Besides this bitter disappointment of the show. I don't know. I'm not like disappointed in it. It just, 
I just need some bigger stakes, I guess. It's fun to watch. I think it's super fun. Today <clears throat> was kind of annoying because they kept trying to throw all these wrenches and everything. Oh, yeah, okay. But so, I, like, for real, though, I think the show's actually really fun because I just like all the girls. At the end of the thing, right, they picked new teams for the new little all-around, all-rounder. It was like the all-around battle thing. Something. They always come with these weird names. And... Yanni and Kay got picked as like the faces of these groups randomly or however it was. Like, it was like on wild balls essentially, and yeah, they did it right after the performances. So everyone came back out on stage. Like with the crowd still there, and they lined up one on each side and one at a time. Was it based off? No, which so it was just best? no. It was just literally all random. Oh, okay, but Yanni. Was the first person, so she was what the queendom team. Yeah, leader. and then Kay was the second I say one. She's the leader. She's just there. no. They're just the first two people had to go to each side to create two teams. So it was Yanhee Kay, and then everyone else after just got to pick, and it was random. It was just like a, literally a, a lotto ball with their name on it. So they got to go wherever. It really had nothing to do, which is weird because you think it would with the stages, right? But again, the places don't matter. Literally outside of first place, unless you matter, which is weird because you think that oh, second here you, might, but no, not how they did it. It was all random. So then the girls literally just picked to the who they wanted to be with, K or Yanhi, and then that's just. Uh, how I'm not gonna lie, I was busy entertaining my cat during this portion because he was freaking out. Yeah, I mean it wasn't it's not it wasn't anything super complicated. That was it was literally just random and the the girls picked, which it kind of made that fun just to see where they were gonna like, go. Which group you're gonna be in? And the one group ended up with like thirty of them. It was only twenty six of them. Because everyone was going to Kay's group at first. Well, the yeah. first like four or five people went to Kay's group and Yanni was, was just by, like herself. by herself. But then obviously it equaled out because it's a show. Um, so then after that. They like went to these tables. This it's weird because they like cut to the tables they're already at, and then it cut to them picking these teams. Yeah, and then back to the tables, which makes no sense. Like, why would you not like just we, show us picking if and you, go to the tables? Because if you paid attention, you would see who already was on the team, like who already was divvied up on the queendom or the puzzle team. But then, yeah, after that, they did the I need friends. So then, essentially, they're like, okay, we're gonna have a like a meal together thing and this is where you're going to have friends and then that's where like the whole rest of the show happened. And this is where like the only part of winning this thing came into play. Yeah. Because the winning group who was the nude group got like some Korean beef like always. And Naturally. And cue cards that had like some secret mission like a side quest, right? Right. So, essentially, I don't remember they like randomly picked and turned order who was picking what. But they got to recruit a member of the other group to their team. Yeah, that they wanted. And then they, like, had to trade people or something if it had too many. It was kind of weird. I don't really understand it, honestly. Yeah, they... Because the four girls got to pick who they wanted on their team. But then if that other person wanted that person back, they could have them. So essentially going fourth was the most valuable spot. Yeah, because you can exchange the same one, but if you had the last pick, you're going to get it. Because just whoever had the last say... Which that actually didn't happen like that because they all showed the girls say who they wanted, and then like no one actually picked who they said. So except yeah, Su-Yun. so it didn't make any sense. So the first person that went was uh, was it Nana? No, it wasn't. Doa. It was uh, Doa. Doa went first. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. Uh, I don't think she went. First, because she picked. What's her face back? Oh, she went sec. Oh, so Su did Su Young go first? She oh no, Jian went first. Jian went first. Okay, so yeah, and she picked. Twiso. I'm trying to remember. So yeah, because she picked. She picked uh, Twiso. Twiso, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, of course they'd want her." And then, which is who three people wanted before? Yeah, three out of the five wanted her. Three of the yeah, and but okay, so then Jian picked her. But it's also kind of weird if you're not watching it. I guess I could say what the teams are. They're not all on the same team. Like they're on different teams and they're just all like came together to Yeah, it was just because they won the the nude. Because stage the tween of team was Yanni, Jury, Doa, Huiso, Soen, Ellie, Miru, Charon, Jui, Fei, Jiwu, Sujin, and Soyan. And then the puzzle team was K, Nana, Bora, Wuyan, Zoa, Jian, Jiwan, Yin, Suyan, Yorm, Rina, Sungha, and Yuki. So the way it originally worked, right? So Jian was on the puzzle team, and she yes. picked Huiso from the Queendom team. So she right? moved to the puzzle team. Yes. Then Doa was next, yeah. and she picked 
Huiso back. So she literally she went, went back, back to where she team. was a second ago. And then Suyun picked uh, Yuki. So she did pick Yuki. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm tripping. No, you're good. It was confusing even watching it. So, Which was weird because she said she wanted Huiso, and then she had the pick to pick her back, and she was like, well, I think they need her, so Yuki, you're on the team. I was like, all right, cool. Which was weird because then at the end, they had to like eliminate people from the team. They had to drop had to two. Be, they had to drop two people because the teams had to be like 13 and 13 Even, or something, yeah. right? So the first person they eliminated was Jiwoo, the girl Jiwoo. they picked. The girl <laughs> that Nana picked got voted out. So was it just the top people that voted? No, Again. I think everybody voted. Everyone voted? So, oh, yeah. Like, everyone on the team that had too many people voted. Yeah, okay. So, they listed who was ranked, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. one, two, whatever. And the most person at the 15 vote was, was Jiwoo, Jiwoo, so she got kicked out. Who Nana, like, changed her pick to bring her over. She was... So, she went back to her original team. Yes. And then the next person, we actually had a difference of, of like, Yuki did not go back to her original team. It was... Uh, Sujin. Sujin from... Weekly, yeah, and it was uh, actually kind of felt bad for her. Yeah, she <laughs> kind of felt little, bad for her. She had a little thing where she's like, "We were voting, and I heard a girl say Sujin should be number 15 she's, she's, like, she's like, "That's what I knew it was probably going to be." Me. And they like <laughs> showed it, and she's literally right next to her. And like she's literally, like, like as close to like, Justin like, right now. I'm voting for Sujin because I don't think she's the strongest. I don't know. It was like something you know. The people try to be nice about it, but it's still like, dude, she's right. She's next literally to a you. foot away from she you. She literally <laughs> started crying. I kind of felt bad. And then, like, she goes to the other team and everyone, like, cheers and blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, oh. I just felt like nobody wanted she's me. Like, I don't think they want me, but, like, they have to have me on their team so it's even. So, it's kind rough of, day for her. Honestly, most rough day for her of anybody also, on the show. Also, just so you guys know, the lineups I gave you were the lineups for the final team, so. Yeah. So, yeah, literally all that moved was Yuki and Sujin. Pretty much, yeah. So, they just swapped Sujin and Yuki. Because there's multiple people that went to a team and came back. After all that. Which I, I do... I you do. know, I was going to say I'll go over the teams again because this is real messy, but this is exactly how the show was this going. Is, so, I mean, this, this is, is like, how we felt watching I was like, this I like is... kind of have a headache because of trying to keep up with that. So, for anyone who did not hear me four <laughs> minutes ago, I gave you the final lineup <laughs> that should have been the last lineup. The queen of team ended up being Yanni, Jury, Doa, Huiso, Soen, Ellie, Miru, Cheren, Jui... Faye, Jiu, Sujin, and Soyeon, and mm-hmm. half of those people I forgot were in the show because they did not get shown at all this entire thing. The puzzle team was K, Nana, Bora, Wuyan, Zoa, Jian, Jiwan, Yin, Suyeon, Yoram, Rina, Sungha, and Yuki. That team's kind of sick. That is a pretty sick <laughs> that team. That team's pretty good. Um... So after all that... Hopefully everybody followed that, because I know a lot of people actually listen to us, so I feel kind of bad for messing it up. No, I actually... But at the same time, that's what it was like watching I it. I will like, say, <laughs> that was a very live with us through our minds watching it of how we felt, but I feel like we've na- we're we doing a good job so far. I feel like we're nailing it It so just far. reminds you of like, all the draft trades, like the NBA trades, when people are swapping picks from like, different towns yeah. and stuff, or different cities, you know, like, different teams, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, it's like... Eight trades happened, and like Oklahoma City ended up with their exact same like second round pick from twenty twenty eight that they traded away like four drafts. Yeah, ago. it's like, like oh, how this happen? It's now a twenty twenty nine pick. It's like when the dust settled, literally two people, like they had one person switch each team. Yeah, we had like all this it talking, Yuki for Blue, everything, and it's like they just traded. Susan I just want to know. I don't know, and they made it so dramatic because they're, they're like when their little private thing, they all said they're going to vote for this person to come over. Like legit, like I'm like. Elimination Island, like Survivor. They had like, like their little <laughs> own little cam of like Gian and the girls that won. Like, we're picking them. Like, I'm picking her. We really need her. And they're like, we need Huiso. Well, but then it was like their turn. Like, I just need Jiwoo on the team. Like Suyun had a pick. Like was last. She could have picked Huiso to come over, and she's like, Yuki, come on. I was like, what? <laughs> come on over. Which is funny because she was like sitting there just chilling. I don't think she's been on the camera the whole show until then. Yuki is amazing, but like, I didn't remember. <laughs> I was like. Because she was on the fighting stage, I'm pretty sure, so she didn't get no screen time today. Not that much. And then she's like, you know what we need? Yuki. I was like, what? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's just weird because then the people went and then they just went back. So I was like, did we need to do that, guys? She literally got up out of her seat and walked four feet to the other table and sat in the seat directly across from her. Then got up and moved and back. And then Lisa moved seat. instantly back. 
Nana brought Jiwoo over, then the whole team voted her out, and she went back. I was like, ooh, bad pick by Nana. I know, there. right? That's a Kwame Brown. Imagine being picked by somebody to join your team, and then you name them getting voted like number fifteen and getting kicked out. You're down. excited, like yeah, cool, yeah, like, I th- love me. Obviously, like Huiso's one is because people wanted her on the team to bring her back. Jiwoo's was the team that the person picked you for. Thought you were like the weakest link. Goodbye, and they also, like sent her back. Also, at this point, I'm not 100 percent convinced. Mnet did not want her to put her name in there in some type of fashion so she didn't notice because she's been all over this freaking show. She has. She has. Also, fun fact of the day, we might have to check the uh, stats and info department, but when What's Your Face has lost, the Don't Call Me stage, I'm pretty sure it's like the first loss Mirror's ever had on a performance stage in anything she's been in. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Because she won a lot of performance stages. That stage was really good. I don't know. Again, it was all uh, the fans in attendance for that. I don't know what they saw or didn't see because that stage is really good. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have voted that the winner either, so I can't talk, but it was still really good. All right, so now we got that confusion out of the way. It gets even more confusing, kind of. Yeah, this is when I really started to get a headache, like for real. So they had to find out that they have to do five different stages, basically. Three of them are vocal rap stages. Yes. Two of them are dance, dance stages. But your group has to split up amongst yourselves, I guess, into whatever you want to perform. So more than one member is going to be doing multiple stages. I'm assuming they didn't really give us a specific. They didn't really yet. say that. I'm assuming so. Also, based That'll on be the a, comments that, I get, I miss a lot of stuff, even though I'm paying attention. So I'm that'll not, be a whole uh, part of the episode where they're like all figuring out what they're trying to do. So for because there's a lot of stuff. I was gonna say for anybody who. Uh, wants to check everything I missed, just go on our YouTube under each of our videos and look at what Tessa are commenting. She comments on all this stuff I miss <laughs> all the time. Which, I mean, I... Yeah, I guess I missed stuff. I don't... I don't I think, know. Honestly, I think we're nailing it right now, though. Um, so, what happened was they had three rows, and it's like, okay, row one's like song one, two, three, and each group had like a designed or designated runner to put their name on the board and like musical chair style once the song stopped you had to go put your name on the thing yeah first come first serve it's really weird to me there's three choices and every single time they all want the same one that's what i'm saying i was like we have a choice of three there's a 67 percent chance of each one being wanted picked and it's like and immediately you guys you guys all want the same one it's like Okay. And the pickers were uh, Jiwoo and Rena. And the first one was just a big old cluster when Rena just attacked and her group got Rush Hour by Crush, which apparently is just the most that is like the popularly poor. F- I can't even talk. <laughs> the most popular song to perform on any type of that Korean show. That is the show. Elimination Show song right now. Because so they performed right it not only on Boys Planet as yeah. like a stage, yeah. but it's also the stage that Jay, the other dude, I don't even remember. They like practice performed with. and practiced as like their song to like get in the thing. Oh my gosh, it was sick. And honestly, until the boys played it, I never heard the song. I never so, heard it either. So when I hear that, I kind of just think that's like Jay's song. So by default, the other group had to pick one. They picked Weekend by Taeyeon. Bold strategy. Don't remember what the don't other song was. Don't let Wuyen sing. Yeah, I know. Then after that, they did another row. And it's funny because they're like the Queendom group was like really showing their true colors because they're discussing which song they wanted to do. And while they're doing it, it stopped and they didn't even go pick the song because they like didn't even realize. They're like it. so in discussion that they didn't realize that the music was over. So then Rena literally just walked, just waltzed up there and giggled and all the way. got the song that they wanted. apparently everybody wanted. Naturally, of course, which was if we ever meet again by Lim Young Woong, who naturally I've never heard of him. Of course. Life. So, I was, like, not 100% stoked about these songs. The Queendom group settled for Hopeless Romantic by Big Naughty, of course. Yeah. Then finally, apparently, according to the Queendom group, this is the only one that mattered, and there was four choices for this one. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the only song anybody wanted was a song called Time of Our Life by Day Six. Yeah. Yeah, the band song. Everyone wanted that over twice, uh, Itzy and... Whatever the last one was. And so the other group picked... They picked Wannabe, wannabe by Itzy. 
I did not. I don't want to be that guy. I'm kind of tired of hearing Twice songs. Did not, especially that song is so not great. It's so average. Uh, what was it? Set me free or whatever. Yeah. I was like, no. But I love Wanna Be, so I'm very excited for that. And then after that, they all got excited for their special guest appearances of the same people they've already seen multiple times. Like the dance coach people. And they announced that there's four new songs for dances that they have to do for the dance stage. So they had to go do a dance-off between the two groups. And whichever group won the dance-off got to pick two songs. Yeah, to complete their, like, Team 5 songs that they're doing. Yes. For the head-to-head team battle. And it basically it just ended with... Bora taking one for the team and going up and dancing like, yeah, like a cracked everyone, out jellyfish. Like, no one wanted doing to do the it. robot. No one was doing anything with him. Bora went first and did a good job, I guess. And then, of course, who's going to step up to challenge the Cherry Bullet member? None other than Rocket, Yanni Rocket, from Rocket Punch. Punch. So. She's like, we need more confidence. And then she stepped up, and that's as far as we got. And then it ended. And based off the track record. Moore's definitely going to win, so. <laughs> yeah, so. We, Game one blouses. We don't even know what those songs are, right? They showed them like a clip. They're like, the little clips they showed. They're like, oh yeah, it's this, this, and this. Like, do you know which ones you want? And you're like, no, because we barely heard the songs. But those weren't the ones that we heard at the end. No. So oh, that's, that's something completely oh, different. See, that's where I was confused because you didn't hear those ones at all, the dance ones. And it was like the same people dancing to it in the practice room. So that's where I was confused. Because I was like, why are you showing us the song at the end now, but you showed us... Because it literally was like, they showed like, not even a snippet of what they sounded Yeah, it was like three seconds of it. So I guess the girls saw more of it when they were there. They sound cool. Like, yeah, they'll there, sound good, there's yeah. a couple that sounded really good for like those quick snippets. So that kind of just ended. So I guess next week we'll see the little dance-off and who's picking which dance songs. Which I mean... There's what do you do, like, two rounds of dance-off, and then you just pick the two, like... Yeah. Uh, then they'll show preparing for that stuff and whatever, then doing their performances. Because that's pretty much what the preview was, was a bunch of performances. Yeah. So, we'll see that. Then at the end of this week, we had, like, something going into a couple weeks from now, I'm assuming. Which is the classic... They have original songs for the show. Oh, yeah. And the fans get to choose which members they want to see perform those songs. Yeah. And then I guess whoever's the most popular members picked are the ones that are going to go perform it. Um, which is always the one that's weird. Well, this time it doesn't matter. But that's one of the, like, go perform and do stuff. But then there's, like, eliminations. They have to shuffle up the teams again anyways. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. That's what they did the... Uh, oh, yeah, and, like, Boys Planet, the one team had, like, two people yeah. left. And like, well, we need what, seven. What was the one stage that did that was sick? I don't remember. I don't even remember. There's been so many. Overpowered or powered... Oh, with Haruto? Yeah. Oh, uh, Supercharger? Yeah, Supercharger. Supercharger was sick. That was, like, a sick... Can that just be That one was the gr- one that was, like, the Super- hot hodgepodge group and then to go, like, rally to get people to join because there was two people. Now, that was, like, ultimate hodgepodge because they always have those groups on these shows where it's, like, the little engine that could people. But like, this one was, like, legit. He'd, like, like pitch gra- himself and nobody wanted to go to Grassroots, <laughs> and people were like, no. And it was, like, all hard. That's why I was like, man, Harto's the man because they killed it and it was, like, all because of him. Like, and just being like, rigged. and then, yeah, he did all that and then got booted because it's rigged. And then the second best one is on Girls Planet when it was, like, Cheon and uh, Gato Mo, and they were going around and, like, nobody wanted her in the group. And that's when they picked Sakura, who wasn't there over Minji, to join their group, and yeah. she got put in the other one. Yep. And then she was, like, crying, and she's oh, like, oh, I'm on, pro- on produce, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. On the producer, and then they did super. Uh, and it was awesome. And then they did it really good. Imagine that; those groups were always fun. That's when Bayu Jung was crying. She's like, "Don't you ever say that." She's like, "You're doing so well. You're in so like, proud of you're you. inspiring me." She yeah, she was like super nice. Yes. So those are always fun. But yeah. So these are the groups for Tessa R. I specifically, I told you I would do this for you. Yeah. Our uh, one fan that listens to us on YouTube and comments on everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um. There was Puzzlin', which was the first one, which is kind of what Justin described as kind of like a knockoff version of like a 50-50 song. It reminded me of like Cupid. Which is a kind of like a more like, I want to say girly, like, it's kind of like flowery, soft, younger concept. Pop. Next we had hmm. IDGA, which was like a song made by Bobby from Icon. So it's got like more of like a techno, groovy 
it was uh, called Dance Eve. It definitely sounded like a dance type song. If I saw like heard like oh Bobby produced song, it wouldn't be what I would think he'd make right away. But it sounded really cool. Then we have I D O or I do. I think it's I do. Weirdest, I did weirdest, not put a space between it. Weirdest song. But it was like a weird mix of like a wedding. It was like the wedding song. Song mixed with a normal song made by producer Ryan, which I can't remember what else it's he's about, done on the shows, but he has done other stuff. I mean, it. I guess it's about getting married. Not sure. It's a lot like, of questions. It's really called I Do. I just don't. So it, it, it was kind of weird. We went through all the girls and we placed them in these groups. Now, the only thing that's really weird about it to me is there's 26 people in the groups. and Or in the show. Yeah. And each group, the little thing, had it set up where there's only seven people at each one, which would mean not all the members were there. Elimination. Which I don't think is true. So one group, well, two groups have nine people. One group has eight. Sure. Okay. I, Why not? I know. Why not? So for the puzzling group, I have Bora, K, Jian, Sujin, Doa, Rina, Jiwoo, Ellie, and Wuyan. Just because I think that would be a good group to do that song. Absolutely. Then for the more, uh, not hardcore, but more like techno like, you know, harder sounding Hard, dance Harder sound. one, I guess. By Bobby, I have Hwaso, Yian, Fei, Suin, or Soin, Yuki, Suyan, Sunga, and Charon. That'd be sick. Mainly I threw Charon in there because she's got to go somewhere. You know, she's kind of had that role so far in the show. Then for the I do one, which is kind of not really. It's it not on the lines of puzzling, but it's not like it just had like a heavy beat. No, it's just kind of I guess like a normal kind of song. It kind of had had a solid beat to it. It just was like weird because it was that wedding song. I put Yurum, Jilon, Nana, Zoa, Yanni, Jerry, Jui, Miru, and Soya from Triple S. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a perfect team for that. Can't argue with any of those. I feel like that's a pretty good lineup. So yeah, Tessa, yeah. that's who I picked. I mean, could we interchange Ellie and Sharon? Probably. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like I will say Is Soyon the one that could fit any single concept and still be awesome after doing terrible or interesting? Literally, she yeah. was she was the MVP of the show today, honestly. She gets my MVP of the week because she did awesome. After being so bad at making me wonder how she was a debut idol. Good job, girl. You, really killed, turned you killed it. I think that nailed that. I don't really much. know. I feel like, honestly... I feel like you just got scale, all of it. On a scale of, like, 1 to 10, that was, like, a 10 in description. I feel like that was and perfect. A one and, on accuracy. And I feel like nothing was wrong. Nothing was out of place there. I think that pretty much nails it. At least we get to try this Baja Burst. Yeah, we could try that now. My uh, sinuses are kind of cleared up right now. Ooh, oh, that, that was a does loud it smell like one. A Baja? It does, actually. <laughs> mm. It's clear, whatever. Mm. Smells like lime. I feel like it tastes like the other ones. I don't. <laughs> it kind of just tastes like a limey type. That's definitely nothing compared to the goat. It is sugar free. Ooh. That's where our zero sugar. Is sugar free the same Twisted as zero lime. sugar? <laughs> yeah. I thought it said zero base one. That'd be sick. Mmm. The yeah. Eclipse? Yeah, that one's. I don't know. You know. I think they all just kind of taste the same. I think they're all kind of very similar in taste, even though there shouldn't be. Kind of a lot of artificial sweetener. Just a lot of fakeness going on. A hint on. of um, red 40 and maybe yellow 6 in there. I don't know. Let's look. I'm trying to think what uh, make-believe awards to give people for the week. I MVP, will say... MVP goes to so, so, so Young. She gets, like, she MVP my, and most improved. <laughs> Honestly. And comeback performance of the day. <laughs> Six man of the week. Just sweeping the awards she right did now. Agree. She just did really well. So shout out to the Triple S fans because, my gosh, she was horrible. Um, recovery and, of the week, or I guess their actual comeback of the week goes to Woo Yun for hitting the actual high note in the song and yeah. not, not singing it like when she did the Taeyeon song. Yep, that was her, her big deal, but um, she did it. Good job, Woo Yun. We knew you had it in, we knew you, had it in you. The not being wanted by the team award goes to Jiwoo. That's like all those NBA and teams Sibian. when guys get tra- like traded to the team and then they just get caught immediately. I feel like these performances actually were like very solid. Actually, like I feel like the confusion of later on is out is clouding my mind about how good the performances were because everyone was solid. Like the confusion of right now is clouding my. I mind. just like I'm just trying to think. Did I see Ellie on the show? I I, I think will I say I think she gets. 
And I will say, doing the most with literally the least screen time ever, Elliot does a good job. Because she'll actually have, like, a good emotion or something. I think I've seen Ellie on the show more than I saw Miru this week, and Miru actually performed on the stage. So <laughs> Miru just... I don't know. She had a rough... Not a rough go, because their performance was good, but she pretty much just, like, didn't know the choreography, and Ian had the teacher. And I guess the language barrier. I don't know. That was kind of their whole practice... But then guess what? She's fine. And then it was great, and it was a really good performance, but again, the yeah. fans didn't think so. Let us know what you think. Go check out our New Jeans reaction video I'll probably be putting up sometime before this. And go check out our buddies at Cork STL, where we're going to be going in a couple weeks yep. to get my Pixie album. The Pixie album that's just chilling, waiting for waiting for you. Put the link to the link tree in our description. Absolutely. Yeah, it's almost uh, it's almost birthday weekend. We're That's kind of crazy. It's a few weeks fun. away from birthday weekend. We've got to figure out some special fun stuff to do. Even though we'll just watch Queendom. I don't know. How, do we know how many episodes this is? I still have no idea. Someone might have told me. I don't know. That's our real big question of the day. But could it end next week? Is know. it over next week? I don't know. Also, for people who have not heard it, because we put out multiple episodes, we put a lot of content last week. We put out like three reaction videos. Oh my gosh. Two we were, episodes. We were busy. Maybe something else, I don't remember. Yeah. Um, but go check out our episode where we put out our favorite songs of the year so far. Oh my gosh, good Like ones. our top five songs of the good year. Good ones. Before. Which is funny because I heard so many cool songs since then, so it's probably not going to be anywhere close to the... I just There's just been a lot of new music the last right week. meow, as in right this week and like last is week. Like, is Bouncing by A.T.'s a song of the year? Holy crap, it's so sick. A.T.'s is so sick. I'm so excited to see them. Say hi to us at KCON. Yeah, we got a crap ton of stuff we put out last week. This is what we like to call the calm before the storm. I'm really just trying to soak in all the free weekends of doing nothing. Before it before gets busy, busy, busy Before we have, like, busy, busy, busy to go to a different state every single The month of August happens. Weekend in August. I'm trying to think of my favorite person on the show so far. And I will say... It probably was Huiso, but now that's just, like, everyone's favorite on the show, so I can't pick that. She's, like, the most popular person She's, like, she really is kind of, like, the main person on the show right now. At least a lot of the other faves get good screen time, like, Yorm kills it and Yun's on there. I think I liked her before. Not, like, stand or, like, you know, super hardcore followed or anything. Sure. But I think one of my favorite people um, right now, just in the show in general, is uh, Jerry from... Rocket yeah, she's yeah. pretty funny. Honestly, I've really liked Yun Hee too. I mean, she's powered through a lot of adversity since that's been her whole vibe on the show. Is stuff does not go her way. Or uh, always love Ji Won though. So she does from a good job. Weekly, her and K were really fun. Shout out to them for just like getting food all the time. That's awesome. I mean, I mean Nana's handful. done really well. Gian's done really well. There's definitely a handful of people you never see, so you never know they're there. There's just a lot of people. Um. I mean, Rena does a good job. Maybe high keys. Also, cool. uh, CJM Entertainment, if you're listening to this, whatever your name is, we need that Leo present Super Queendom. Yeah, that's the best. Uh, Let them know that idea. That's the. I would love that idea. That's what I like to call real stakes. Austin, if you're listening to this from Leo Presents, <laughs> I need you to hook us up with this. We need to have an elimination show that leads to a United States tour for the winner. That's real. Like stakes. I know you can do it. I've been to two of them. I mean, that'd be awesome. I am guessing we're going to get a boy group from them. I was thinking it could be uh, New Six. Dude, that'd be sick. I mean, they're not, like, really, really big. I was like, I don't know. Here's the other thing about that. There's so many boy groups the people dropped in the thing when Leo Presents on Twitter was like... Oh, I know. Who would you want to see? So, I'd never heard of any of them. That's what I was <laughs> telling someone in our chat. I was like, I feel like with boy groups, it's like infinite. There's the amount of boy groups at this level that Leo Presents can get. That it's like, they could pick anybody. And they'll get them, and people will be so pumped. Oh, I guarantee it's a boy you, group. they'd sell out every single video. Like, it's a boy group, Doesn't so matter it's who like, it is. oh, easy money. But it's like, it could be a name, and we're like, I have no idea what this is. And people be like, let's go, blah, blah, blah. Because there's just like, I feel like there's just a million boy groups out there. And they're all at that kind of Leo Presents level. So it's like, good good for those people. That's all I'm going to say. Because I know the, the people will be very excited. I was thinking maybe the new six. Because they're not super huge. That would be really cool. That would be sick. 
I don't know how that really works. But I don't know either. I I don't know. I just want the next girl group to be honest. So I don't know how that uh, Hawaii to BYU pipeline works. But. Yeah, it could be. Uh, it could be anything. We'll see though. I mean, the Tribe Tour is over, so I don't want to be that guy. But I kind of hope it's a boy group I don't care enough to go see because then I can actually like save some money. And we'll just uh, save up for after that one winter winter time girl group again. Because I mean, man, we have been plowing through some. I'm not mad about savings. not doing stuff. <laughs> Honestly, just, it's kind of weird. I'm thinking today, but man, just, especially since we're just like going to cake. I can't wait to not do anything. Just save up some money, but then I realize I only get paid twice a month. So I'm not really saving any money. Yeah. But it's like, man, I can't wait to not have to do anything these next couple weekends. And then I sit there and I'm like, feels really weird. I'm not going somewhere this weekend. Like. Should I'm I just like, like, ah, just a little bit's okay. Yeah, you know, I was like, should I drive to St. Louis? And I was just like, KCON, we're going to see so many people at one sitting, so it's like, that's a lot of people. Like, awesome people, too. So. It's kind of crazy to think, once you get back from KCON, like, six days later, we got to go see Ace so. Not even a week, we will be in Chicago at Rosemont Theater watching Ace Well, I, th- cool. I think about that, too. I'm like, that'll be very fun. We will be like, oh my gosh, so much traveling, but it will be very fun to see Ace. Then we get to go to the greatest show on turf, Hanabi. Hanabi. That's <laughs> what I was like. Who's ready to rock out in September on a Wednesday in Juliet, Illinois? Hanabi. And so. I think, is it in September? Mm-hmm. That's like the same month as uh, Dance Gavin Dance. Really? Yeah. All right, so we're not having a break. That's okay. That's all right, because you know how much Dance Gown Dance tickets are for both of us to go to the show? How much? Like 60 bucks. Oh, okay, good. And that's before, for anyone listening this far, I don't know, you might have to be registered to things, so I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I got like a thing, and it's like, oh, for like 4th of July, till, from like July 4th to like July 10th, I should probably go do that. <laughs> Whenever you buy your tickets for the Dance Gown Dance show, you get like 15% off your purchase. Oh. So it's going to be less. that for K-pop. I know, right? Not even close. Yeah, Hanabi, Dance Gavin Dance. Hanabi would be very fun. Um, For those who don't and know, then, they're like after a Japanese that, screamo band all girls. Oh, gosh, it's going to be really fun. So, what's that? That's September. So, October. Big savings in October. Look ahead. Look forward to that rest period when it's just inevitable that the Leo Presents Tour will be someone awesome and we it will is, be there. It is so crazy, though, because I'm like, man, I could save some money. I don't have to do anything for a month. And I'm like, I only get paid twice a month. I got bills to pay, so I'm really, I guess... It'd be happening like if that. If I come out $5, I'm still technically ahead? Yeah. At least most of KCON stuff's taken care of already. I think I think really everything except for food's taken care of. Technically everything in our transportation, but we'll worry about that when it's time. I feel like we're close, so if we can, like, walk or, I mean... Yeah, we'll be fine. We just gotta, get, Uber, from, we just gotta get from the airport to the hotel. Yeah, so Ubers aren't, like, super... And then once we get there, we're good. We'll just get Brett get a car. Yeah, Brett, go get a car. Brett, get a sweet Suburban for us to drive. Yeah. A Hummer in L.A. <laughs> a stretch Get a Hummer. Tesla. Get a Tesla. Um, yeah, I don't all know All right, going Queendom 4 was really good. A uh, little confusing, but let us know your thoughts. We'll be here next week for Queendom 5. I'm JT's Fall Girl. We're at the Chaos Kimchi Podcast. We love you guys, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. Later.